I have claimed that there are four seasons in Germany, but there's a fifth season. It begins on the 11th of November at 11.11 and has now reached its peak, the carnival. If Germans are supposed to be completely humorless, why do they celebrate carnival? Let's take a look at this. Carnival, or as the Germans also call it, depending on the region, Fasnacht, Fassenacht, Fasnet, Fasching or Fastelovend, I've probably forgotten a few regional terms. What is it actually? Where does it come from and what do the Germans do? The customs that are common today at Carnival already existed in and before antiquity when servants and slaves suddenly had the right to make fun of their masters or celebrate with them. The term Carnival is the youngest of the terms used at the beginning. It was used for the first time at the end of the 17th century and probably goes back to carnem levare, to take away flesh. This taking away of meat is exactly what Lent, which follows Carnival, stands for and what the other terms denote, i.e. Fastnacht, the night before Lent, for Fasten, or the evening before Lent, and Fasching, which is widespread in Bavaria and Austria, goes back to Fastschank, the last bar for Lent. We are here in the Christian religion and in Lent, the 40 days before Easter, during which no meat was eaten and in some cases no alcohol was consumed. In the Middle Ages, people really started to let their hair down before Lent. Originally, Carnival began on January 6, the day of the Three Kings, which was the twelfth day of Christmas when it still lasted twelve days. Fasting also took place before Christmas. Products that were not suitable for fasting had to be eaten on November 11th, St. Martin's Day. Then there were 14 days of fasting before Advent began. Since the 19th century, the carnival season has begun on November 11th at 11.11 11 a.m. Now, this does not happen equally all through Germany. There are carnival strongholds that celebrate differently. For example, the Alemannic carnival is very different to the Cologne street carnival. The shouts also differ from Alav, Helau or Hasi Palau. There are regionally different shouts with which the fools meet. In addition to the strongholds in the Rhineland and the Swabian Alemannic region, the parade from Mainz, for example, is always broadcast on television. But there is also a great carnival culture in Franconia, around Nuremberg or Würzburg, in Lusatia, Münsterland or Berlin. And sometimes, even in areas where carnival is hardly celebrated, there are towns or villages where parades are held. Very often, there is one or more carnival clubs that organize the preparations and implementations. Some of these clubs are also known as carnival societies or communities. The oldest such societies was the Gesellschaft van der Gecken, found in 1381 by Count Adolf III von der Mark, who was Bishop of Cologne and Münster. The Cologne Fool's Guide of 1880 refers to this heritage. Other clubs were founded after the expulsion of Napoleon around 1823, a time when Cologne was competing with Rome and Venice for the best carnival. The club with the largest number of members for many years was founded in Deep Holz in 1838. In the Rhineland carnival tradition, a carnival prince is elected, in Cologne even a triumvirate of farmer, prince and maiden. The maiden is played by a man. As Cologne has several societies and guard associations, a different society is always given the honor of representing the triumvirate. The prince or triumvirate leads the session, similar to a marksman, king or a wine queen. A motto is issued for the session and the parade and meetings are planned. There are typical carnival speeches at the session. The but is originally 
a barrel often used to make paper, the speaker stands in the bit and gives a humorous, usually rhymed speech, a Büttenrede. Mahlzeit! Ich komme von der Baustelle! Mahlzeit! Liebe Leute an den Geräten und hier im Saal, Münster feiert endlich wieder Karneval! In the Middle Ages, there was a right to criticize at Carnival, where a simple citizen was allowed to criticize the rulers with impunity at Carnival time. Depending on the session, the speeches are harmless funny, sometimes frivolously offensive or even satirically critical. There are various local comedians and carnival speakers, as well as special music groups, that have ten or more performances at different sessions on some days. The Cologne band Black Furs, for example, is well known. Some carnival songs are now known throughout Germany and are often sung at drinking parties. In the Rhineland, the Tollentage carnival days typically take place on Weiberfassnacht, which was the last Thursday, when women take over the scepter in various carnival strongholds. Town holes are stormed and men traditionally have their ties cut off. Depending on the region, it was special women, like washerwomen or market women. It has been known since the Middle Ages that women were granted more power on at least one day. Also in the past, this was sometimes taken on a different day, sometimes Ash Wednesday. This is when the most important day begins, with most of the meetings and various parades. If the Rose Monday Parade is the best known, Cologne also has a Wiefe Faste Lorenzuch on Women's Carnival Night, which begins with a historical play, the School and Fädelszuch, what is parades organized in the city district and by the schools, and the big highlight is a Rose Monday Parade, which lasts around five hours. The same happens in Düsseldorf or Mainz and even in other regions there is often a parade on Rose Monday. Sometimes groups travel from all over Germany to march in the big parades in the carnival strongholds. Hundreds and thousands of spectators line the road of the parade shouting or singing along and Kamelle sweets or sometimes chocolate bars and similar sweets are thrown from the floats. Similar to the carnival speeches, the float hardly minds their words and take up and satirize various current situations from the city, politics or world events. The traditional societies on the Rhine or in Hesse typically wear uniforms reminiscent of the uniforms worn by the armies in the 18th and 19th century. The Swabian Alemanni carnival in southern Germany is different. Here the jester plays a central role and is usually depicted with a larva, a traditional wooden mask. This varies from region to region but is typically and of course traditionally made. Here too the basis is the celebration before Lent and the session with the climax on Rose Monday is similar. In contrast to the carnival songs and more typical marching music in the more northern parades, the Swabian Alemanni Carnival is dominated by Guggenmusik. A special feature throughout Germany are the dance interludes around carnival. Girls and women in particular dance in a very acrobatic manner, either along in the groups as Funkenmarieche or Tanzmarieche. In addition to the jester and revelers from clubs and societies, children and adults also like to dress up. Some wear the same costume over and over again, but often simple costumes that change over the years.
20 years ago, children liked to dress up as astronauts, cowboys or Indians, but pirates became popular again with Pirates of the Caribbean, or Jedi Knights with the Star Wars films. There are many events for children in kindergartens and schools, often have a costume day or, depending on the region, a day off. Classic costumes for adults are hippies, doctors and nurses, witches and musketeers. Depending on personal preferences, the costumes tend to be funny, sexy or deliberately ugly. It is also said that by dressing up with increasing alcohol and even historically due to the upcoming land, people flirt a little more freely with each other. As a joke goes, one sparkly girl says to another, How glad I'll be when the fun days are finally over. Oh, I'll be so glad if I'll finally have them. For the celebrations, and sometimes at home, the room is made colorful with confetti and streamers, and the bakeries sell a lot more berliner than usual, or as the people in Berlin call them, Pfannkuchen, pancakes. There are even said to be one or two Berliners that are filled with mustard rather than jam. I personally have never had one with a different filling. It's all over on Ash Wednesday. The carnival revelers take this very seriously. When some parades were cancelled during Corona, Paderborn, for example, made up for the parade in April. With such violations of carnival rules, the carnival revealers naturally can't take a joke. The Westphalian Carnival Association excluded the Paderborn Association, Hasi Palau and others who made up the parades after Easter because they had violated the association rules. So carnival is definitely a serious matter. How is it for you? Do you celebrate Carnival? Have a great time and thanks for your attention and see you next time. We are here in the Christian region. This taking away of meat is exactly what Lent, which follows Carnival, stands for and what the other terms donate. Very often there is one or more Carnival clubs that organize culture in Franconia, around Nuremberg and Würzburg, in Lusitania offensive or even satirically critical. There are virus, virus of the Caribbean. I personally have never had one with a different filling.